Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel Zeno Vision. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can convert your helium hotspot miner into a crank miner. This is going to be an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can do this very quickly. So before we get started, I would like to inform you that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. So yes, you bought a helium hotspot miner, a SenseCap M1, uh, a while back ago, and you're not earning anything, or you've never earned a lot at all. So uh, you've spent a lot of money on it, uh, and now you have an opportunity, uh, a potential good project uh, it's called the crank uh project the crank miner that can potentially grow very fast uh again just to be clear i'm not a financial advisor but i am going for it uh, i trust in this product i believe in it and uh, yeah so um we're gonna need to download a few things to make this work and we have to take a few steps i will walk through them with you all of them uh we'll visit a few links i will leave all of them in the description also their discord link of crank themselves uh if you have any additional questions support questions they are always quickly in helping you so yeah let's get started uh the first step you need to do is you need to open up the front panel of your uh sense cap uh it's just a normal screwdriver small screwdriver and we need to take out the sd card the sd card uh is on the front panel and it has a sticker on it to, to seal it off just take it out with a pair of uh, uh, tweakers and then you can take out the sd card so let's go ahead and do that which i have already done i've taken out the front panel and um what we're going to do now is we're going to take out the sticker and uh it's very easy it's right here here's the sd card and uh just take out take off the sticker first it's right on top of the sd card uh or else you cannot take it out and after that uh you can take the sd card out and the next step for us is to do the place the SD card in your SD into an SD card reader, a USB reader. So let's go ahead and grab one. Okay, I've got myself an uh, SD card reader right here. I'm just gonna place it in and put it in the PC. An SD card is uh, just a few bucks. This is a, uh, yeah. it has more ports, but if you just get the SD card itself, micro SD card reader, uh, it's probably three, four, maybe five bucks in any store. So yeah, put it in and uh, connect it to the PC. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, after that is done, it's connected to the PC. We're gonna download a bunch of software. We're gonna start with this web website right here. Just click on download and download right here for the Windows version. And then we're gonna download the crank image, uh, this one right here. And then we're gonna download the crank uh, Windows installer. That's gonna be this one right here. And as last, for people that don't know a lot of networking, just download the network scanner as we are going to need the IP address of the miner. So there you go. Uh, let's go to our downloaded folder. Okay, these are the files that we've downloaded. Let's start with the Balina Etcher, if I'm pronouncing it right. Double click on it, hit agree. Let it install, let it do its magic. Uh, patience is key. And there you have it, it's already downloaded. Now we're gonna go ahead and find the file, the image that we downloaded, the second uh, uh, website we visit. So let's go and hit flash from file and go ahead and locate the image that you downloaded it. Double click on it. And then we're gonna select a target. The target is gonna be the SD card that you placed in the SD card reader on your PC. So that's going to be this one right here for me. Uh, again, oh, let's load it up again. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, flash from file, select your file, select target. And it's going to be this one right here, USB device. Select and hit flash. It's going to now hit a yes when you get a screen. It's gonna now actually uh, uh, format the SD card, so you don't need to do that. Uh, it will do it itself. And then it's gonna flash the file in to the SD card. Uh, the file is like the new crank software that's gonna replace the old one. Okay. It's gonna take a few moments. Let's skip this part for y'all. If you get this, uh, 
the note right here it's totally fine it's uh, doing its magic here on the left screen so let let it do its work okay flashing is successful we are done with that the next step for us is to take out the sd card and place it back in our sensecap m1 so let's go ahead and do that so we've taken the sd card out and i'm going to place it back how i placed it in the sense cap for now i'm going to leave the front panel open i can uh put that back on later just to make sure everything's all right now we're going to plug it in the internet port and the power cable don't make sure the antenna is already on it so then we can uh plug also the utp cable and the power cable so let's go ahead and do that okay the sense cap is plugged in power antenna and the internet port cable so let's go ahead and go to the next step and that's this to open up the setup right here and install this it says uh, windows protected your pc we're gonna run it anyways i trust it but again it's on your own risk hit yes to confirm and we're gonna i don't need all this and we're gonna install it let's do its magic Okay, and uh, now we're gonna have to fill in some details. So to have the IP address, we're gonna need the advanced IP scanner. So let's go ahead and install that also. Go ahead and go for English and hit okay. And let's install it. Hit accept and install. And we can run it. And after it's open, just hit scan. So it scans all your network devices. Let it load up, might take a while. Okay, to know which one is your IP address, uh, it's gonna be first called Raspberry Pi. So look for that. If you have multiple Raspberry Pis on the network, uh, make sure you can look on the column right here for the mac address right here okay uh, on the back of the sense cap it will say the uh, mac address so then you can uh, select it easily so we've got ours let's go ahead and fill it in mine is going to be one nine two one six eight one six eight point six eight point eight five so the default port is 22 and the username will be default crank with double K and the password will be default watch oh and three let me show you guys so you have all that and let's close this down so this is going to be the password and then we're going to hit content connect okay for the next step we can actually install uh the crank software but uh, before we can do that uh you can uh, put on some settings right here we are not in this tutorial going to install the dual mining we're just going to focus on uh on the crank itself uh, you're gonna have your gateway key uh, model you'll have to place in a sense cap uh, and also do your frequency so mine will be in the EU 868 and then uh, we also need to add the secret key which we can get from the from the dashboard of crank itself so let's hop over there okay so this is going to be uh, the dashboard of uh, crank I can imagine that everyone is already familiar with this if you're watching this video so i won't get into this very much but we're going to go to our wallet you're going to put in the password that you made if you have not made a wallet uh, password yet then you won't see this then you'll go to wallets and here you can set a password then you can actually get here and go in your wallet so now we're going to put in the password and then you will be redirected here we're going to create a new wallet then you're going to get a secret key make sure you 
copy it somewhere, write it down, because if you lose it, then all your funds may get stolen or you can't recover it anymore. So make sure you do that. Uh, and then after that, you can hit I understand and can continue. And in the next uh, screen, you will uh, have to enter your secret key that you just copied and you can uh, give it a name. So I'm going to give it since gap uh, just to uh, know that it's this one. And we're going to hit create. Okay, in your next screen, you will then see your public key. I just copied just in case and backed it up. So that's all good. And uh, now we need to go back to our other screen. And here you will uh, put in the secret key you copied earlier. You will paste it, copy it, paste it. Uh, and then we can hit install crank. And we're going to hit yes, we would like to proceed with installation. Let's do its magic and install everything. Okay, and after you've done all that, then it's completed. Uh, you've hit installed. It also will say 100% complete, then it's done. So now you're all done. It's set up as a crank miner. Make sure you've added the uh, Cadano wallet and uh, yeah, connect your gateway ID number within your dashboard. Uh, right here, as you can see, I created a wallet but uh, I couldn't add the gateway yet. So that's because I'm an alpha uh, user. I was uh, onboarded in the beginning of this project and uh, I haven't actually made a wallet until now. I have had my earnings. So let's hop over there and show you guys that I am earning, but I don't have the wallet yet. So I've contacted support again. They are really helpful and they will help you out and uh, let them assist me on uh, attaching the gateway to my wallet. So let's hop over there. So yeah, I've earned until now. Uh, keep in mind, I onboarded three months ago, approximately, and I've earned until now 437 crank, uh, a total value of $202.53. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a project. I believe in it. I can see it reaching much higher. Uh, that's what we all hope for, of course. Uh, of course, I'm not a financial advisor again. So you can see here the, the price and the KDA price, and you can actually swap it over. Like I said, I don't have the wallet yet, so I did open a support ticket. If you have any more questions about this, and if you saw the value in this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also leave some feedback for me. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, just feel free to ask. Again, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.